Hey, these are teeny little cookies. Oh, I really like that. Mmm, 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 mmm. Hey there everyone, I am Crunchy Scott and it is time for my monthly vegan food reviews. These are all foods that are either new to the store shelves, maybe they're just new to me and they've been out for a while, but I hope they're all new to you because there are a lot of vegan products out there and I thought that maybe I can help you a little bit by snapping them up, trying them, and letting you know if they are totally rad or totally bad. We are gonna start with these Partake chocolate chip cookies. I just found these at Trader Joe's like 30 minutes ago. They might've been out for a while, but this is the first time I've ever seen them. So they are, <laughs> listen to this, nut-free, egg-free, wheat-free, dairy-free, soy-free, fish-free, shellfish-free, mustard-free. I'm seeing that a lot lately, mustard-free. Sesame-free and sulfite-free. Whoa, okay. So this is a 5.5 ounce box, and it says that they are crunchy, cookies, vegan and gluten-free. Let's open this up. There are 15 in the box and they look big in this shot, but let me just say these are teeny little cookies. Look at that. Here, let me do this so that you can kind of see. Look, that's a teeny little cookie, but maybe they have a big flavor. Well, they're fine. <laughs> they actually have like a little bit of saltiness to them, which I appreciate in a cookie. I can definitely tell from very first bite, if no one had told me, I was like, those are gluten-free. They just kind of have that vibe. When I think of crunchy chocolate chip cookies, I think back to Chips Ahoy, the kind that you would get in a little like bag and you would dunk them in your milk. These would probably be pretty good dunked in milk and I would say that's how you should eat them because they taste a little dry to me. I also think they might be good dunked in coffee. This is probably the first scenario I run into where it's not totally rad and it's not totally bad. They're kind of totally eh. So these are $3.99 at Trader Joe's. I would probably not be picking these up again. They're not like bad enough where I'm not gonna finish this. No, I will eat these probably with my coffee uh, in the morning or something, but um, I won't buy them again, I don't think. Fast forward me like snarfing these down at 2 a.m. I saw these at Whole Foods the other day and I picked them right up because I have seen people reviewing these online for weeks now and I've really wanted to try them. Not so much because of the nostalgia of eating these Baby Bell cheeses that come in these little wheels like that. I think they're really cute though. Um, I never ate these uh, before I was vegan, um, which was a really long time ago, so I don't even know how long these have been out to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but I do think they're really cute and that's such a convenient little snack. I remember opening these. I, when my nieces and nephews were little, I remember opening one um, for them and it's so satisfying. This little Obviously, it's green. I don't know what the other colors are. I remember the red ones. But it's so satisfying to like pull apart this little wax string <laughs> and then taste it. I mean, that's kind of like a really cool packaging deal. And then it opens just like that. Oh my gosh. Mm. Well, I know this is wax, but well, that first bite is really kind of waxy. Like, I mean, not waxy, kind of plasticky almost. Um, now this is straight out of the refrigerator and I think that almost all vegan cheeses are better when they've had just a little bit of time to kind of mellow out and get that chill knocked off of them. So I will try it again, but there are six in here. Yes, six, six um, little wheels and it was $4.99, so I don't think that's terrible, especially if it's for a snack. I do, hold on, let me put on my glasses and then I can tell you some of the details. One of these things is one serving and one is 50 calories, so I don't think that's too terrible for a little snack. Okay, so this has had a little chance to warm up a little bit. Let me try it again. Well, hmm. Oh, I really like that. I think this is a really nice snack. And I'm really surprised to say that because I feel like the YouTubers I have seen who, and people on Instagram who've been taste testing this, 
they've been ripping it to shreds, at least the ones that I've seen. And I really like this. Okay, so if it's totally rad or totally bad, this is totally rad. Let's just say right out of the gate that Miyoko's Roadhouse Cheddar Spread is absolutely delicious. It is totally rad. There's no way this is totally bad. This is the classic Sharp. And let me just say, here's, I spread it on a cracker. It is salty. It is creamy. It is so reminiscent of this cheese that my mom used to get back when I was a kid. It would come in like a crock. Usually we'd be eating it around the holiday time. And same deal, you just kind of scrape it out of the little crock and you spread it on some crackers. It also tastes kind of like a cheese ball, which I used to love cheese balls when I was a kid. And it definitely has spray cheese vibes from what I can remember. And I mean that in the best possible way. This is cashew based and I'm really sorry. I think I threw away the receipt yesterday. I'm pretty sure I got this at either Whole Foods or Target, probably for around $4.99 and I think it is well worth it. I think this is the kind of food, well I know it is because I just did this the other night. You sit down with a plate full of crackers, this, you watch a movie and then you prepare to be super bloated the next day. But still, totally rad. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried these vegan baby bells or these new partake cookies from Trader Joe's or even the Miyoko's Roadhouse Cheddar. I'd love to know your thoughts and let me know if my reviews are helpful and definitely let me know if you've seen some vegan products out on the market that you'd love for me to pick up and try. You know I love it. I have got a long list for next month. I can't wait to show you what I have found and definitely I can't wait to let you know if they are totally rad or totally bad. <laughs> <laughs>